so lads and ladies here I think it is very important for you to realize how powerful you are within yourself and how you can change that so therefore walking like this is great man walking with your students walking like this is a great thing yeah you're with your fellow beings and you are yourself but the moment you walk into an office or something there is a way how to walk and it goes with men and women both why because the perception of you as an individual is going to be measured in the first three minutes after you meet someone that is the time you have left an image of yourself in the person's eye the person you're meeting for the first time of course mr. Martha has thought I'm a very tough businesswoman but <laughs> but what I'm trying to tell you is it is very important you are all business students you're gonna go out to sell your business something that you believe in right I am not going to sell and I express this to my team continuously do not sell a treatment to any guest because you are getting a higher commission on a higher treatment no you sell what your guest needs and that's based on consultation so when you sell your business it's all about consultation you're gonna go and talk to your buyer and I'm sure your teachers are teaching you this you're gonna go and talk to your buyer well, how is the buyer going to be impressed you see you're selling product A B and C with everyone else in the market is selling it how are you going to make the difference it is called unique selling product USB unique selling point unique selling personality <coughs> you can call it anything it's USP and it's your USP how are you gonna sell it therefore it is very important to really dress yourself up well okay do not show any weakness to anyone because this world is dirty I'm sorry but that's the way it is therefore and I've learned it from my experiences the moment I have shown even the slightest of my weaknesses that I had which I have overcome now I was picked up right there and then every time it was like sir yes what can I do humbleness is different begging is a different thing you be humble the first thing I expressed when I came here my obeisance to everyone I'm sure a lot of you are younger to me that does not mean that I should not express that to you because as I said you can learn from a little child to the oldest person therefore humbleness in your life should be brought but walk tall Think principles of course you sell what you believe which means yourself as well today if I'm coming and I'm going to create an impression to you as students I'm going to have to in layman's term sell what I believe in what do I believe in I believe in first being a very good person which means I've come here with all my heart to teach or express to you something nice not for the sake of I'll see I'll teach them it's just a half an hour or 10 15 minute session I'll do it and I'll go that's not what I'm here for I would like to be here on the long haul try to teach and express what I have learned and what I'm going to teach or say to you, any of you what I'm saying to you is not just from the books it's from my experiences experiences as a woman entrepreneur the faces the problems that I have faced here and US I must say I have not faced too many challenges maybe because I never did challenge myself in an environment like this before but um, here I have faced more and I have learned a lot more about life in this country than I have in the US US has always been a bed of roses for me that's my husband he's working I'm home I'm a mother I'm a child of someone I'm a mother I'm a wife here I have to have I've had to face the challenges on my own okay so that's one thing I can also teach you guys fine dining skills and you know how to communicate when you are presenting yourself or tomorrow the university decides to send you to some to some national level competition or something you should be able to walk tall and be there do not focus on your um, 
you know, what the result of your competition that you're going to present and this is another challenge that I faced when um, I was at another university here in Gujarat the students were very focused on winning the competition why because when they come back they don't want to face everyone if they've lost no you have to look at it in that way I'm going to put my best foot forward if someone else has won something maybe he has done something different that I haven't rather than learning from him don't feel defeated and I'm not going to try this again. Now that is an example of just that. I'm talking about life in general as well. I've tried it and I failed. I tried doing the spa here. I failed the first time. Failed miserably, financially, emotionally. Everyone wanted me to come back home, but I stuck to my guns. I'm going to do it. And I did it. Today, spa is opening five more spas in India. <coughs> in 2012 we were going to leave after one spa so challenges should be embraced because that is life is all, all about you move on you the every time you win a challenge and you move to the next there's going to be another one you shouldn't think this is done now life is easy hunky-dory let's move on no there's going to be another challenge right there but if you are focused if you're knowledgeable the training that your faculty will give you here you can do a lot for yourself. So how many of you think you're going to be really strong entrepreneurs here? Come on, boys, let me see it. Oh, almost everyone. Very good, very good. Any more questions, please? Yes. 